This little story really begins back in 1974 when I first joined Rush. I bought a 22-inch ride cymbal that happened to be made in a little factory in Meductic, New Brunswick. And I used that same ride cymbal for the next 29 years. In more recent times, I started to hear other drummers, friends of mine, playing Sabians. And I got a little curious and decided to give them a try. To my great surprise, they really blew my old cymbals right off the stands. So we arranged for me to make a visit to the much expanded Sabian factory in Meductic, New Brunswick. And uh, when I met the people, I was so impressed at how much of the process was still done by hand. The hammering and the lathing, they just took a raw piece of bronze, put it up there, and sure enough, lathed each individual cymbal by hand. And there was a man sitting there with a leather apron, hammering cymbals by hand. And when I got with uh, product specialist Mark Love, he started kind of putting some symbols up for me to try, and we discussed what I liked and didn't like. And it, it was interesting, but a little clangy sounding. So he sent it back to the hand hammering man, Charlie Brown. Again, that was improved and interesting, but a little lacking in what I would call nuance. So he combined that with lathing and the hand hammering, and amazingly enough, yeah, there was the sound that I was looking for. Uh, Mark had one more inspiration up his sleeve, which was to combine what's called the pinpoint lathing, a much finer grain lathing on the top of the cymbals, and the Turkish traditional, really, style of uh, grooves on the bottom. And the combination of the two was something fresh that hadn't been tried before and had a remarkable effect. We started talking about how they should look as well and uh, developed this very special gold ink treatment for them. And uh, the name that everyone liked in the end was Paragon, which means uh, a model of excellence and um, also happens to mean a perfect diamond of 100 carats or more. So we used that incorporated into the graphic treatment of it. We had a sound and a look and a name, a creation that we were all very proud of and that I could put up on my drums and play as something that after almost 40 years of playing the instrument, I felt that I'd been involved in the design work. Ride cymbals, crash cymbals, hi-hats, 